few <laughs> things. I mean, you look at France. I mean, if you look at all the countries coming here, so many countries are coming here to really learn from the ties, embrace the the art of Muay Thai, and, you know, and we're starting to now. We have guys like Charles Johnson, uh, Nathan Ward, Willie Whipple. I mean, starting to come over, but it's just few and far between that are really trying to come over and carry the torch. And, uh, and, and Warren Stavone as well, you know. But when you look at France, you can't name, I mean, it, it's endless the amount of French fighters coming over. Even, even German, you've seen a lot of German, Tunisian. Yeah, it really does take that long-term stay here in Thailand to, to soak up the sport, the culture, be able to bring it back. And the competition. When, that's when Pierre goes back, he'll have other French fighters who spend time over here and they'll get to compete against each other in France and raise the level. We're just not having enough of that because our superstars, the ones I named, are here and staying here. And there's not enough of us coming to help raise that level back in America. Both fighters in the orthodox stance for this one. Carson pushing forward right off the bat. I'll get off of my great crowd, American Muay Thai. <laughs> Good inside low kick there from the German fighter. Carson does look a little bigger. Yeah. Maybe he has broader shoulders. So Ooh. far, Pierre doing a good job here. Soaking yeah. up the pressure. He's using the push kicks, the body kicks. The size isn't going to matter if he's smart any with y'all seen. Yeah. <laughs> they don't get much bigger and more skilled than no. that. <laughs> also, uh, Atif Badradin as well in the corner there, Pierre. Oh, yeah. Fighting Bonafide our, superstar. Yeah, really making his mark here at Max. He's fighting this weekend on the Sunday show against uh, Noomsa Tuk. I mean, he's Which is going to be... Uh, man, if there's ever a fight that I've been excited for, not the biggest names here at Max, but... As far as when they say clash of styles, yeah, you don't get more of a clash than that. Atif is just... I mean, he, he's on his way to becoming the number one fighter on Max. Yeah. And very, very young. That's, I mean, the upside is scary with Atif. Constantly learning, constantly improving. I'm sure he's passing on what he's learned so far here to uh, Pierre. Both fighters now starting to open up with the elbows there in the clinch. Big knees. Carson. Oh, stiff jab that Beautiful time from jab. Pierre. Good boxing and turning from Pierre. Wow. So far, oh. solid fight here from both fighters. Looking very yeah. technical. And I guess that's to be expected. Both coming out of, you know, renowned camps. Yeah. Carson training alongside uh, Juan Mario, Juan Martin, who also fights here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium pretty regularly. Good elbow from Carson. So coming down to our 10th second mark here in our first round. Oh, good knee. Sharp knee from the outside there from Pierre. And the round number one. So coming into the second round now of our third fight on tonight's show, Pierre Costantini from France, fighting at a Petsamon gym there in the blue corner. Karsten Ringler from Germany, fighting at a Cal Summit gym. See some of the highlights from that opening round. Good showing here so far from both fighters. It's been a very technical fight. Yeah. Sometimes you get the fighters that come here the first time at max. They uh, tend to come into the ring with a lot of nervous energy and go a little bit crazy, but both fighters putting on a very uh, nice fight here. Good shots now. Low kicks coming in from uh, Karsten. Trying to punish that lead leg there, Pierre. Attacking the inside, outside. Good low kick from Karsten. Inside, Pierre with the right hand. Great technical fight from two foreign fighters. Oh no. Yeah, Pierre gonna get the warning here for going back. Oh, this is not gonna be good in a close fight. You see Karsten's corner over there. Tell him, let the hands go, finish up with the low kicks. Pierre, so far, he hasn't been blocking those shots. 
Yeah, and he's still going back, unfortunately. Oh, beautiful. The right hand is staggering Carson, but a late kick there from Pierre. He's gonna get a warning for you. He's gonna get a warning here. Carson already on the floor when Pierre let the kick go. I mean, sometimes things happen in the heat of the moment, but oh, oh, oh. Jump the gun on that jab. Yeah, it's uh, picking up almost a second foul here for the French fighter. Good combo from Pierre. Doing a better job with the hands now. That jab rocking the head back of Carsten. Yeah, he's got a great jab. Pierre's jab is really, he just can't keep going back like this. Yeah, that's the only thing really going against him at this point. Kind of like to see him stand his ground, let the hands go more. Carsten still the aggressor, pushing forward, keeping the pressure on the fight. Minute left on the clock. Good low kick there for the German fighter. Again with the great jab. Oh, yeah, good knee. Sinking those knees into the midsection. Got Pierre trapped in the corner now. Oh, three right elbows. From the German fighter, still pushing forward here. Attacking that inside leg of Pierre. Very nice. What a jab from Pierre, great jab, again. If Pierre starts doubling and tripling up on his jab, he's gonna open up so many more uh, combos. Yeah, good right hand. Oh, the left hook that time. Right hand, beautiful work. Starting to open up now, beautiful. There's the belt in the second round. So coming into our third and final round, it's been a very exciting fight here between Pierre Costantini from France and Karsten Ringler from Germany. Both fighters having their moments in that second round. There's that right hand that sent down Karsten, but that late kick coming in from Pierre Picking himself up uh, the first warning. Towards the end of the round, he really opened up with the hands. So here we go. Third and final round. Marston now immediately pushing forward here, working the knees and elbows. Yeah. Starting to open up with the boxing himself. Much more aggressive, Park. That's what worked for him. All fighters in his knees. Knees and his elbows. Landed with a short right hook, following up with that left knee. Good work from Pierre, though. Oh, good elbow. Pierre's got to be careful keeping his head ducked down because Carson can just put down a knee right up the middle. And he's still going on the back foot here. The referee watching very close. Yep, there it is. You called it. This is not going to help Pierre's call. Second warning already. One more, he will get a point deducted. Oh! Just oh. getting uh, slipped up that time on the knee. And again, it's Carson here who's keeping the pressure on. Good jabs coming in from Pierre, but he's got to yeah. follow, follow up with something. And he's got to stop moving backwards. Halfway to go here in the third round. He's got to stop dipping his head. He's very close to getting knee. I don't know if Carson sees it either. From inside the clinch, Pierre is keeping his head down. Again, he's just using the jab. Walking yeah. backwards there, that one was very close to landing. Oh, and you can see his head just stays dipped down a little bit too much. See his head is down, he's got to be careful. Yeah, he is. He's tired. Yeah, he's looking tired here. 
breathing very heavily. His corner trying to fire him up, tell him to push forward, but taking a lot of knees now and for the Martin German fighter. Still doesn't throw a knee up the middle. Good elbow again for Garth. He has got to be careful. He's going to get a warning or get a point, actually. Ooh. Oh! Oh! That one landed right on the forehead. Yeah. I mean, when Pierre lets his hands go, he's, he's got the skills. Oh, he's tremendously talented, but... He's just taking a barrage now. Three, four knees there, unanswered. Arson now just trying to put the finishing touches on him as we make our way to our final few seconds here. Oh. And again, there's that left knee to finish things off. There's the belt in our third and final round. Great fight from both gentlemen. Yeah. See some of the highlights from that round. Again, Karsten, the more aggressive of the two fighters, he kept the pressure on. Pierre on the back foot. See some of those beautiful knees there coming in from the German fighter. Right elbow. Finding its mark. So let's go through our ring announcer for the official call. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of the three rows of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner! Red Corner Costa! 